Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Kimchika, and today we're going to be diving in to an indie game called Macrotus A Mother's Journey by Indie Studio Proud Dinosaurs. They have kindly offered this key to me to review the title, so I want to just let you know it doesn't affect my opinions, what I'll share with you today, but I'm just really happy that it offered me the opportunity to play this game. So let's jump into it and uh, see what this journey is all about. The premise of the story is one that immediately pulled my heartstrings. A mother Bilby has been separated from her young due to the seasonal hurricane rains and must find a way to get safely back to them. Okay, but first, what's a Bilby? Thanks to the Australian Department of Environment and Energy, I learned that the Bilby, Macrotus lagotus, is an adorable small ground-dwelling marsupial in the group Bandicoots. Bilbies are burrowers and make extensive tunnel networks, are an important part of indigenous culture in Australia, and have suffered a major decline in population due to habitat loss and introduced species in their habitat. Huh. Okay, Discovery Channel moment aside, this puzzle platformer has a lovely premise that gets particularly interesting after the first hour or so due to the introduction of a magic crystal, a wizard transferring his powers to Mother Bilby, and the discovery of some ancient chambers below the Earth's surface. But there's more to this story than initially meets the eye, and although you won't find anything too unpredictable or surprising as it develops, it felt very much like a fairy tale that you read to someone before heading to bed. Visually is where I'm torn a bit. While standing in place, I loved seeing all the detail and care put into the environment. Due to the lighting and color choices, there's still an air of fantasy and magic to the whole thing that allows me to feel that sense of immersion and escape from the real world and its rules. But I think the level of detail ended up being a bit of a double-edged sword. While standing stationary, it was really stunning to look at. Sometimes I felt like the environment got a little bit busy and distracted my eyes as I was trying to look for what objects I could move and how I could manipulate the environment. I think it was this busyness that made me feel a little bit dizzy or perhaps like my eyes couldn't focus on a specific thing when running through the environment. You will spend a lot of time observing the environment around you, particularly while solving puzzles. I love puzzle platformers and the way those light bulb moments can present themselves after thinking through a puzzle for a bit, and there are a few of these moments here. The progression of the puzzle difficulty felt slow at first, and for those who are familiar with these kinds of games, the majority of these puzzles may feel a bit easy. But there were enough of those thinkers, those aha moments, that I didn't really mind. What I particularly enjoyed were some of the puzzles that took my assumptions about what I had seen in previous puzzles and reworked it just slightly enough that it caused me to pause and rethink everything that I thought I knew. I also enjoyed that in the movement and timing based puzzles, the camera always moved slowly enough I felt I could plan ahead and see enough of the environment while still getting that pressure. And if I failed at an element of the puzzle, it never felt like a gotcha, but more as a learning experience. And being able to restart from the beginning of each puzzle was very simple. Added into the mix are skills provided to Mother Bilby from the wizard. Skills like out-of-body meditation, which allow you to run without disturbing shaky platforms, or the ability to build walls to jump on. They add an additional element of fun to manipulating the environment and exploring the world around you. Macrotus, A Mother's Journey was a charming title to spend the weekend playing. While the camera movement did take me a bit to get used to, and the game's almost Disney-like sweetness may annoy some, I found that the story and characters were enjoyable and I wanted to spend time with them, and the puzzle design was smooth and engaging. This was a solidly good narrative puzzle platformer from Proud Dinosaurs. Let me know if Macrotus A Mother's Journey is a game that you'd like to try, and uh, if you happen to look up some Bilby facts as a result of this video. And if you enjoy what I do, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to follow me here as well as on Twitter. I'm at Kimchika25. I've also got a cozy little Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Kimchika, where I play quirky, happy, narrative, puzzle platformy games, uh, among other types of indie games. So I'd love to see you there. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at about 8 p.m. Pacific time. Um, loose schedule as work is getting a little bit hectic at the moment, but follow me there and you'll get notifications when I go live. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're playing lots of great indie games and I will see you in the next video.